Good afternoon, Mr. Collum. I'm Karen, your CNA for the day, and I'm coming in to go ahead and get your dentures cleaned. I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves. The gloves will be mounted on the wall and in size order. Go ahead and place your gloves on. Once your gloves are in place, you will take a paper towel and line the sink. Then turn both cold and hot water on so that you have moderate temperature slightly filling the sink. Your supplies will be here on the back of the commode. You can go ahead and open your denture cup and rinse all surfaces of your dentures. Do not lay them back down. Take your toothbrush and apply toothpaste to the toothbrush, returning the toothbrush to the emesis basin. She will then watch you brush all surfaces of the dentures. You want to ensure that you brush the tooth enamel, the gums beneath the teeth, the inside of the dentures, and also the bottom where they adhere in the mouth. Once you have rinsed all surfaces, rinse your dentures thoroughly, rinse your toothbrush, and return it do the emesis basin. You then will take your cup, empty the water. You need to rinse the cup. You also need to rinse the lid. Then place a moderate amount of water back in the cup, returning the dentures to the cup and closing the lid. At that time, you may turn the water off, remove your sink liner, step to the blue trash can, to throw it away. She will then watch you remove your gloves in the standard fashion. Grab the palm of one hand, pull it away, wad it up, go under this glove, turn it on inside out, again step to the trash can and throw it away, and then indicate to the evaluator that you would wash your hands. This particular skill does not have an automatic failure. However, if you forget to line the sink, Three steps include lining as part of the process, and you could fail the skill if that one step is missed. This completes denture care. Go. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Collin. I'm Karen, your CNA. We're going to go ahead and get you dressed. Before we get started, I'm going to close the door for privacy, and I'm going to get my hands washed. We have two shirts that we can look at today. Do you have a preference as to what shirt you would like to wear? No. Okay, would this be acceptable? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this on the bedside table. Return this one to the rack. The evaluator will instruct the candidate that their right arm has had a stroke and they are unable to move it independently. What I'd like for you to do first for me is go ahead and just sit straight up in the bed. And if you'll take a hold of this sheet, I'm going to go ahead and undress this arm. Okay, actually, go ahead and take your hand out for a second. Okay, now you can take that sheet. And then I'm going to undress this arm. Again, don't move your arm. Let me do all of the movement. Okay, all right, now I'm going to need to take the dirty gown out. So if you would just hold that gown to cover you. As I take the gown out, turn it away from you. and go ahead and drop it into the hamper. I then am ready to put on the new shirt. I will dress the affected side first. Use gentle motion of the arm and don't let go as it will drop. Go ahead and lay that back down there. Okay, now I'll hold this and go ahead and put your arm through the gown. Go ahead and begin to snap this. The evaluator will usually let you stop snapping after two or three. Okay, there we go. You can go ahead and lay back now. Okay, here is your call light. If you need anything, let me know and wash my hands. The automatic failure on this skill is not removing and putting clothes on in the appropriate manner. We always want to make sure that we are undress the unaffected arm. And when we dress, we dress the defective arm. That completes dressing a client with an affected right arm.
Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Collum. I'm Karen. I'm the CNA for today, and I understand you need to use the bedpan. Before we get started, I want to close the door for privacy and get my hands washed. I'm going to go ahead and get a pair of gloves, which will be on this table the day of the exam. Once you have put your gloves on, the first thing you'll want to do is lower the head of the bed. To lower the head of the bed, you will use the left lower button. Once your resident is flat in the bed, you'll obtain the bedpan from the bedside table. Make sure as you pick it up that this divot or crack in the pan will be facing the resident's crack. While using discretion to not overexpose the resident, ask them to lift their hips and position the bedpan in the correct fashion. Your gloves are now dirty, so let's remove the gloves in the correct fashion. Grab the palm of one hand, wad it up under this glove, turn it inside out, and step to the trash can. Again, remember when gloves come off, we always say wash hands. Return to the bedside and elevate the head of the bed. The left upper button will elevate the head of the bed. You'll bring it up to a more natural position of sitting. Once you get it up 45 or more degree angle, you then will retrieve the toilet paper and the hand wipes from the bedside table. You must tell them what to do with it. Here's your toilet paper you'll use to wipe when you're done. Here are hand wipes that you will use to wipe your hands when you're done. And here is your call light. Let me know when you'd like for me to come back and take you off the pan. You'll step back from the bed and then the evaluator will say that they're ready. Go ahead and get a fresh set of gloves. Put them on. You can go ahead and take the call light and the paper products from the client. Go ahead and lower the head of the bed. Okay. And if I could get you to lift your hips, again, don't overexpose your resident. All right, and we're going to head to the bathroom. When we get to the restroom, even though there is no fluid in the bedpan, you must simulate pouring the contents into the bedpan. Then you need to rinse the bedpan and pour the contents into the toilet. You, however, do not dry the bedpan. Return to the room and place this in the designated dirty area. Again, keep in mind, every time you return from the bathroom, you need to close the door for privacy. I'll place the bedpan in the designated dirty area. I now will remove the second pair of gloves, grasp the palm of one hand, pull it away, wad it up, go under this one, turn it inside out, step to the trash can, place it in the trash can. Again, always indicate that you would wash your hands right after glove removal, and return to the bedside to give the client their call light. The automatic failure for this skill is not ensuring that the bedpan is in the correct position. If you have it turned around, you will fail. That completes use of a bedpan. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Collum. I'm Karen. I'm your CNA, and I'm here to provide some foot care. Before we get started, I'm going to close the door for privacy, and I'm going to get my hands washed. I'm going to go ahead and assemble my equipment. I will need a basin. Soap, lotion, a pair of gloves, three washcloths, and a blue pad protector, which we will retrieve from the cabinet. I suggest you place all your items on the bedside table to ensure that you have everything you need before you get started. And while I'm going to get some water, if you could go ahead and sit on the side of the bed, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom and get water. Again, get a sufficient amount of water so that it covers the foot when the foot is placed in the basin. Anytime you return to the room, make sure you close the door behind you. Since water is involved, I want to test the temperature of the water and see how it feels. I'm also going to ask the client to test that. Could you test the water for me? Okay. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my equipment positioned comfortably for me. Go ahead and put my gloves on. I want to take the 
blue pad protector, place it on the floor, place my basin on the pad protector, and if I could go ahead and have you put your foot down in the basin for me, I'm going to take my first washcloth, wet it, apply soap. I then will lift the resident's foot out of the basin and I must support it during the entire process. I want to go ahead and wash the foot, top and bottom surfaces, wash the ankle area, and then she must see you wash between each toe. It makes this easiest to have a pinch motion and just go through each toe washing through that process. Okay? You can let the resident put their foot back in the water while you change rags. Your second washcloth is to rinse and wet it. Again, when your client has their foot out of the water, you must support it the entire time. Let me rinse all of the area that I washed, the ankle, the top surface, the bottom surface of the foot, and again, she must see you rinse between each toe. Again, this ensures just a gentle pinching motion to get down between each toe. Then you can place the foot on the pad. My last washcloth is to dry the foot. Again, support the foot. Dry all the surfaces that you've washed and rinsed. And again, you must dry between each toe. So take the same motion you've been using to dry between each toe. Once you've washed, rinsed, and dried the foot, you're going to apply lotion. I suggest using a very small amount because what the evaluator will be watching for is seeing that you leave any excess lotion on the foot. So if you use a small amount, you're less likely to do that. If you do note that you've left lotion on the foot, you may take a cloth to wipe it off. The lotion goes on all aspects of the foot but does not go between the toes. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take your linens, put them in the hamper, let me go ahead and get this blue pad. Put it in the trash can. Head to the bathroom to empty, rinse, and dry your basin. Again, so there's no confusion, you put all water into the toilet. Rinse your basin. Put your rinse water into the toilet. Go ahead and take some paper towels on your way back and begin the drying process as you're returning to the room. Anytime you return to the room after being in the restroom, please ensure that you close the door behind you for privacy. You will then place the basin in the designated dirty area, which will be located on this chair the day of the exam. Throw your paper towel in the trash. Remove your gloves in the standard fashion. Grasp the palm of one hand. Pull it away. Wad it up. Go under. Turn it inside out and go ahead and step to the trash can to drop it. Anytime gloves come off, say wash your hands and then go ahead and give the resident their call light. That completes washing one foot. Once you have everything on the table, go ahead and get your water. you have enough water that will adequately saturate a couple of your washcloths. Anytime you return to the lab, please ensure that the door is closed behind you. I'm going to go ahead and test the water. I'm going to ask my client to test the water. Can you go ahead and test the water and see how it feels? Okay. Okay. And again, I suggest that if you are right-handed, you work from the right side of the bed. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get your dirty gown off. So I can get you to go ahead and take your arm out of this part of the gown. I want to keep you covered up with this sheet. Take this arm out of your gown. Go ahead and bend your arm there for me. And if you'll just hold that sheet for me, I'll go ahead and get this dirty gown out. 
Again, always fold the gown on itself and away from your clothing. You will then need to step to the hamper to throw the gown away at that time. Then take your towel, place it over the resident's chest, partially to give additional privacy, but also because you can use it to dry with. Take your first washcloth, wet it. Do not apply soap to the first washcloth because you'll be washing the eyes. Use the folded technique that we learned earlier with perineal and calf care. Hold it in the folded corner. Take one flat back and you're going to wipe the eye in to out. Then you'll need to change the position of the rag. Wipe in to out. Change the position of your rag and wash the remaining portion of the face. Then the towel that is over the chest can be used to dry the face. You can now also use this towel to go under the arm. If you'll raise your right arm for me, and place the towel underneath there. My second washcloth, I will apply soap to. And then they will watch you wash the arm. Wash the hand. Wash the arm, front and back, and the evaluator must see you wash the armpit area as well. And you can set that aside. Take your third washcloth, get it wet, and now we'll need to rinse all the surfaces that we washed. So we're going to rinse the hand, we're going to rinse the arm, both front and back, and then we're going to rinse the armpit area. Then you'll need to dry it and you can use the towel that's underneath them. So I'm going to dry the hand, dry the forearm, both front and back, and I'm going to dry the armpit area. Okay. Now that they've had their bath, we're going to go ahead and put on the clean gown. So if I can get you to go ahead and put your arms back through this gown. There you go. Now we can go ahead and bring this sheet down, cover you up that way. There you go. All right, you then can get rid of all of your linens into the linen hamper. You'll now go to the bathroom to empty, rinse, and dry your basin. Place all fluid in the toilet so that we don't have an error. Rinse my basin. Push the rinse water into the toilet. Go ahead and take some paper towels, and as you're returning to the room, you can begin drying the basin as you walk back. Again, anytime you've left the room to return, you need to ensure that you close the door back for privacy. You'll then place the basin in the designated dirty area, which will be in this chair the day of the exam. Throw your paper towel away. Remove your gloves in the standard procedure. Grasp the palm of one hand. Pull it away. Wad that up. Underneath this put it on top of each other. Throw this in the trash can. When gloves come off, we say wash our hands, and then go ahead and give your client their call light. Okay. That completes bed bath. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Collin. I'm Karen. I'm your CNA for the day. We're going to go ahead and get your teeth brushed. Before we get started, I'm going to close the door for your privacy, and I'm going to get my hands washed. If I could get you to sit on the side of the bed while I get the equipment together, I will need a toothbrush, toothpaste, an emesis basin, a glass of water, a pair of gloves, and a clothing protector that you will retrieve out of the linen cabinet. Again, I suggest that you always place all of your equipment on the bedside table to ensure that you have everything you'll need. All right, what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to go ahead and take this towel and place it over your clothing my gloves on. Take your toothbrush. You may moisten it in the cup of water and then apply toothpaste. Please use a very small amount as a courtesy to your partner. Okay, if I could get you to open your mouth, I'm going to brush the molar surfaces. You can start on either side, get both bottoms then go to the top, get the molar surfaces on top on each side. Then ask your client to put their teeth together, 
and get the surfaces of the teeth in the front. And then if you would please stick out your tongue, I need to brush your tongue. Okay. Don't set the toothbrush down. Let me go ahead and let you have some water. I'm going to let you rinse and spit. Okay. Do you need to rinse again? No. Okay. You want to go ahead at that time and wipe their mouth, and then you can go ahead and step to the hamper to place the towel. To make it easier with all your equipment, I'd go ahead and pour my water in here, and that way I can go ahead and trash my cup and wrapper immediately. Again, during this process, do not set down your toothbrush. We're going to go to the bathroom and empty, rinse, and dry the basin. I suggest all fluid go in the toilet, rinse, put the rinse water in the toilet. You will also need to rinse the toothbrush. You will go ahead and get paper towels and you can begin drying the basin on your way back to the lab. Remember, anytime you return from the bathroom, you need to ensure that the door is closed. When the basin is dry, place the client's toothbrush back in the basin. Place it in the designated dirty area. Step to the trash can to remove your gloves after disposing of your paper towel. Grab the palm of one hand, pull it away, wad it up underneath this glove, turn it on to the top of each other, and trash it. Again, the automatic phrase should be, wash my hands. I then will return to the bedside and ensure that the client has their call line. The automatic failure on oral care is not ensuring that you brush all surfaces of the mouth, including the tongue. If you should forget the tongue, that is an automatic failure. That completes oral care. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Collum. I'm Karen. I'm your CNA, and I'm here to go ahead and give you a bath. Before we get started, let me close the door for privacy and get my hands washed. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my equipment. I will need a basin, soap, gloves, three washcloths, a gown, and a towel. I again suggest that you place all of your items on the mayo stand to ensure that you have everything you need. Pause. Once you have everything on the table, go ahead and get your water. Make sure you have enough water that will adequately saturate a couple of your washcloths. Anytime you return to the lab, please ensure that the door is closed behind you. I'm going to go ahead and test the water. I'm going to ask my client to test the water. Can you go ahead and test the water and see how it feels? Okay. Okay. Right, again, I suggest that if you are right-handed, you work from the right side of the bed. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves all on. All we're going to do is we're going to get your dirty gown off. So I can get you to go ahead and take your arm out of this part of the gown. I want to keep you covered up with this sheet. Take this arm out of your gown. Go ahead and bend your arm there for me. And if you'll just hold that sheet for me, I'll go ahead and get this dirty gown out. Again, always fold the gown on itself and away from your clothing. You will then need to step to the hamper to throw the gown away at that time. Then take your towel place it over the resident's chest, partially to give additional privacy, but also because you can use it to dry with. Take your first washcloth, wet it. Do not apply soap to the first washcloth because you'll be washing the eyes. Use the folded technique that we learned earlier with perineal and calf care. Hold it in the folded corner, take one flat back, and you're gonna wipe the eye in to out then you'll need to change the position of the rag, wipe in to out, change the position of your rag, and wash the remaining portion of the face. Then the towel that is over the chest can be used to dry the face. 
You can now also use this towel to go under the arm. If you'll raise your right arm for me, and place the towel underneath there. My second washcloth, I will apply soap to. And then they will watch you wash the arm. Wash the hand, wash the arm, front and back, and the evaluator must see you wash the armpit area as well. And you can set that aside. Take your third washcloth, get it wet, and now we'll need to rinse all the surfaces that we washed. So we're going to rinse the hand, we're going to rinse the arm, both front and back, and then we're going to rinse the armpit area. Then you'll need to dry it and you can use the towel that's underneath them. So I'm going to dry the hand, dry the forearm, both front and back, and I'm going to dry the armpit area. Okay. Now that they've had their bath, we're going to go ahead and put on the clean gown. So if I can get you to go ahead and put your arms back through this gown. There you go. Now we can go ahead and bring this sheet down up that way. There you go. All right, you then can get rid of all of your linens into the linen hamper. You'll now go to the bathroom to empty, rinse, and dry your basin. Place all fluid in the toilet so that we don't have an error. Rinse my basin. Push the rinse water into the toilet. Go ahead and take some paper towels, and as you're returning to the room, you can begin drying the basin as you walk back. Again, anytime you've left the room to return, you need to ensure that you close the door back for privacy. You'll then place the basin in the designated dirty area, which will be in this chair the day of the exam. Throw your paper towel away. Remove your gloves in the standard procedure. Grasp the palm of one hand. Pull it away. Wad that up underneath this, put it on top of each other. Throw this in the trash can. When gloves come off, we say wash our hands, and then go ahead and give your client their call light. Okay. That completes bed bath. The automatic failure on bed bath is to apply soap to the wash rag that you're using on the face. You must leave soap off of the rag that you're using on the face. In addition, when you are wiping the eyes, you must wipe from inner to outer, and you must change the position of your washcloth with each stroke. Thank you.